Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Innkeeper and today I would like to welcome you all back to Timber and Stone, the land of his late season 3. Every single time I say that, I feel like my voice enters a different level of clarity, that of which I do not exercise in real life. <laughs> Usually, it's just stumbling and horrible behaviour, I don't think it's negative. Not really bad behaviour at all, really. I, 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 I'm a very nice person. <laughs> Everyone now like, bullshit, innkeeper, you're a liar. I mean, swearing, like the first minute, awful person. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, what a great start to today's little session. I'm clicking one and two to sort of set the speed. Every single game does it now. And I've been playing a lot of games where we, you can sort of dictate the speed that you go out or play at by simply clicking zero for pause, one for start, and three for super speed, well, three for fast forward, four for super speed. Had to make that clarification right there. We do have a few dead skeletons right here from the previous engagement in the last session. I'm going to sneeze right now. I'm going to pull off the vampire on a minute. Fuck you, phone. <coughs> okay. <coughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> wow. That was <laughs> unpleasant. Now, for those wondering, I'm doing a bit of sniffling right now. I'm not... I don't have a cold. I just sneezed there for no reason, and the sniffling just started happening. Maybe I now have a cold. Oh, it's not really the time of year, is it? We we're not at that point yet where having a cold should be a normal thing. I mean, we're getting close to autumn, I suppose. So, we're, I mean, we're getting there, really. What's, what, what's our wood at right now? We're not really playing the game. I'm just sort of going around and talking. There's a bunch of woolifs over here. I don't like the look of them. They're going in packs. We need to get, you know, someone to David Attenborough this shit. David. Attenborough, this S. Pff, ooh, pretty bad at the moment. Need to stop with the just the horrible behavior. Let's move into the woods and slaughter our enemies. <laughs> That's perfectly acceptable to say. Hmm. Okay. So it's a Tuesday. We've just had a bank holiday, and oh, I, just, I really didn't want to come into work today. <laughs> Every single time after a bank holiday, it spoils you. You know, you're used to having to, of course, this is for the people that are working Monday to Friday. You know, I mean, a lot of people now work more than that. Those people are workaholics, <laughs> but, but there we go. You gotta, you gotta supply for your family, although a lot of people that say that, they just, they just want to work. Quite a few people anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not asking their motives. I myself can get away with it, <laughs> but that's because I'm in a privileged position, of course. That is most definitely the case. I mean, that my work pays enough. But there you are. Oh, but you got to be careful because you know your boss might start taking taking you for granted ever so slightly. Bloody hell! Come on, those maneuvers. <laughs> Do you see that? I can handle it. There we go. Absolutely wrecked. And then two right there. Lit just a bonk on the head, that's all. That's usually what I would say. Anyone out in the wild, just bonk them on the head. Or on the nose. Preferably with a blunt or excessively sharp object. Generally, uh, knocks them out. Yeah, maybe with a blunt object it might. But with a sharp object, it probably will kill them. But at the end of the day, it's, it's either you or them. And who would you really choose? You selfish person. You should sacrifice yourself. There is a, another wolf. Just a lonely wolf. Lonely wolf. New book coming out. It's probably already a, a book about that. The lonely wolf would just sort of be like someone that is a, a bit... I don't know. It would be about a person called Bob. And he would be... Very lonely. And he'd every now and again go into sort of an imagination phase where he is a wolf. It would happen. It's a book that's being written. It sounds like a really bad book and I... What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, we ran out of wheat, didn't we? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> All of these creatures! Some of them have been here since the beginning! All dead. All because I stopped the wheat from being created. I do. We do have some, don't we? This is, I think this is corn, I can't tell. I thought we would have had enough, but apparently not. So now we need to make some more wheat. Okay. This is the first- I think I've got a cold. I, have, I didn't have the sniffles the entire day, then I sneezed. 
and now it has caused the sniffles, which is really bad for me. I mean, it's bad for most, I suppose, but it's really bad for me, though. <laughs> I don't know why me specifically. It just is. Right, so we're making some more wheat. What is it with that bit? It's this one. It's probably because it's stone. Yeah. All right, well, now we're making a bunch more wheat. Should be fine. All the animals are dead, which isn't great. Apparently, we need more wheat. Thank you, Slay Wolf. Thanks a lot. Wow, this is... Oh, well. Da, da, da. <laughs> no, it's fine. We're just going to dispose of the corpses. I could make a forager and have that forager harvest the bodily organs of the creatures here in order to sustain full sustenance of our town. However, I'm not going to do that. And I feel like I need to specify that because I know someone's going to be like, Oh, Innkeeper, you could have done this. I know I could have done it. However, <laughs> I don't need to. There we are. Empty. <sighs> it doesn't feel right. Well, we have to find animals again. Do we have any animals around here? We've got a spider. That might do. What about the boar who's chilling out around here? How is he still alive? I guess he's just sort of... There he is. There's the boar. I kind of want to keep him in the town, though. <laughs> it's, the, it's our mascot. I can't just move him. We could domesticate the wolf. Is that a dead wolf? It is. We will throw the dead wolf into the ether, which I believe is where the creatures go. Whoa! Okay. There was a little spitter. Where are you, spitter? He's gone now. I just brushed him away. He's probably lurking in my room. It's that time of year where all the insects are going to start crawling into your homes. And they're going to crawl into your mouth when you're sleeping. And you wouldn't know it. Unless, of course, you accidentally bit down during the transaction. Or tr during the transition from outside to mouth. Which is the name of my new book, Outside to Mouth. Don't know what it's going to be about. But I assure you, it will be a great read. Yeah, anyway, we, we do need to sort of muck around a little bit more around here and fill the town up with glorious goodness. This little pathway right here looks so good now, though, because it's just trees. Like, look at that. It's very quaint. Very quaint, nice little walkway. I love it. I really do. You get a good look at the castle from here as well. But the trees really do just, really do just make it up so well. We are so close to the end, though. Just something I need to point, point out. I'm not sure how long we've got. We've definitely been going on for longer than I expected, though. Episode 150 or something. I did say... Well, what was I going to do? When did we finish building the last structure? The name of my new book. There's, there's so many new books coming out. The last structure... Uh, from outside to mouth. And the wolf or something like that. Just there's so many <laughs> right now. How did I remember all of that? <laughs> well, this is great. This is a testament to just how bipolar my short term memory is. Right, anyway. I'm pretty sure it's one of these houses where the last one's for us to create. And then we started doing the interior for the castle, and the interior for... Actually, the interior for all of this, then the interior for the castle. It's been a while now. We do have this little stockpile area that I'm just going to fill up with wood. I like the idea of it just being wood. It's just a great wood stockpile. It's going to be for the carpenters, because we do have our little carpentry zone somewhere around here. It's, uh... You know, places. Oh, it's over here. There we are. So we do have our little car carpentry zone. So that's sort of their little way to walk over and grab some supplies, walk all the way back. Not really the most... Well, well, they'll bring all the supplies and have them just sort of hang out around here. I'm going to keep the timber pile because it makes sense. I do like the look of this. And I'm going to have another one of these. You know, log carpentry machines. Carpentry machines. The loggy kind, I'd like to think. There we go. Right here. Right there? Not there. Yeah, that's... Actually, no, that doesn't seem right at all. Because it's coming up that gateway. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, that bit's fine. Goes through the fence ever so slightly, but that's okay. Anything else? Uh, normal workbench? Yeah, I can have a normal workbench right here. And then just sort of fill the rest up with a bunch of wooden-based objects. A wolf has been spotted by Farkas. That was a little while ago, I believe, yep. Oh, yellow van going by. It's like a scavenger hunt. Not really a scavenger hunt. It's the wrong word to use. It's just neat. Just seeing a yellow vehicle go by. 
In the UK, it's rare to see a yellow vehicle. You do see them, but it's not common. Usually it's silver and black and grey and just all of these really boring colours <laughs> for vehicles. You see a lot of red and blue. And I've got no nothing against the people that decide to go for grey and, and silver and platinum and all that fun stuff because they're distinguishable, very professional, clean, easy to clean as well. Harder to notice a scratch on, unless it's black, of course. You know, these are all good reasons. <laughs> so many tangents today, I don't know what I'm going on about. Let's go to storage, let's go to woods, and just forget whatever the hell I was on about. We do need to stockpile the wood like this. Just like that, it needs to be filled up to the brim. Right here, we need timber piles. There we go. And we'll get another one of them then placed in soon. On this side, we need another timber pile. In here, we should have a timber pile and uh, I can't fit. Can I even fit any wood in there? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to fit a timber pile in there. A timber pile and two barrels, I feel, is a good, is a good idea. Ah, that's a good point, crates. Oh yeah, two crates instead, that's even better. So now we can have two crates right here, one right there and one right there. On this side, we can have a crate here, couple there. Now we can go for some barrels. The, the problem with barrels, of course, they require, re uh, well, more interesting resources. <laughs> interesting being the, the key word there. All right, now we can upgrade all the wood, wood piles. We'll upgrade these here. In fact, we won't upgrade the last one or this one here because it will show that they're the ones that are being picked from the most. And the same thing with the wood pile. What we should do is really have this middle one upgrade. Oh, no, we can't upgrade that one now. Okay, we'll just keep that as a low one then. This one could be fairly high and then these two can be both really high up because it means they're mostly picking from these two. Alright, so this one in the middle could be quite highly filled up. The reason for that is because this one is in the corner. So this is probably where all the old wood is and no one really wants to grab that anymore. Because it was previously new wood, but the bastards thought, Oh, you know what? Let's stack it there. They're playing Jango with that, seriously. <laughs> Look at it. It's probably the more efficient way. It is the efficient way to stack it, but still. Stronghold taught me that. <laughs> so, I still have the memory. Can you even traverse around it? Okay, kind of can, but it's not really viable. Oh well. So we have some more crates. Uh, we don't really want a food thing there. That's not the grey side. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's good. I like that. We can have a few crates just sort of placed around since we're mostly going into the store. Well, not storage. We're going into the, the miscellaneous random goods placed around the town kind of look. And in fact, we're going to have to go down a little bit here. And if We should really start from the beginning. And just place a few crates. Have a nice little chat while we're at it. So here we go. Right here. We're looking at this open zone. It's all open. I'm looking forward to having a nice little walk around Vizlay. What the hell do we put here? I really feel like I could just put like a fountain here. Well, not a fountain, but a statue or something similar to what we have in the market area. We find our way over. There we go. Something like this. Whoa. Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but all right. This is quite a cool looking statue. We're going to have one there, one here, and one here. And then when you complete certain quests, they light up. And then when all three of them light up, they both destroy the castle with a mighty beam. Because, of course, that's the whole point of this quest chain, which I don't know why. We're going to call it vandalism, the quest change. But there we go. Quest. Quest. What the hell? I said the quest change there for summer change. I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to put a bunch of crates here, just sort of block this path up few more there. Probably gonna have a tree around here just to sort of take up some more space. Gonna have a crate here and a crate there. And tell you what, we'll have one right here. It's a nice spot. At the same time, in fact, before I start placing down crates, we should really have wood. Now, it should be a wood log, or a log pile next to every single house that has a chimney. So we've got one right there, one here. So we can put that pile right here. Unless, of course, we can have it on the front. I can't really have it on the front. So we'll leave it there. Um... I have one right there as well, just to make it look kind of cool. Yeah, I like the look of that. 
This one here, yep, log pile right at the front. This log pile can be at the back. And here we'll have one right here as well. Just sort of trying to use up a lot of space. Really, so there's a log pile right there. Although really I shouldn't have these log piles just sort of placed on the front. There are some more distinguishable, pla distinguishable places that it can be. So there we are. I think we've got quite a few of the houses around here. Not this one, however. It's right here. Log pile there is a good spot for it. It's out of the way. Right here. There are two piles here, which isn't great. But they both have chimneys, so now it is great. Right here is sort of a bit of an issue. I imagine he borrows his log pile from over here. He's quite rich. He can buy some fine, high-quality wood. What's that you smell? That's right, raspberries. There's a light raspberry sort of, I don't know, afterburn from the logs that he burns. From the magnificent raspberry trees. Raspberry berry trees. I always say raspberry. I don't know why, but I don't say blackberry. I say blackberry. It's just the way ras ends there. It's ras... It's the way your mouth formulates. It just makes it so awkward. Anyway, enough of, of enough of that. We do need to get rid of all this rubbish that's on this road, though. So there we go. We'll do that. Get rid of the resource crate. Get rid of the masonry stockpile. Okay. So we're still sort of traversing around right here. I do like this house. Uh, okay. So this point, uh, we can have a log pile right there. I like that. Oh, yeah. Log pile right at the bottom. Can I fit that down there? Oh, come on, game. Do it, game. Do it. Fucking do it. Right, it's going to have to go down there. That's fine. What about... What the hell do you want? These people! So selfish! Sending me messages. I've got things to do right now. It's like, oh, innkeeper, how you doing? Fuck off. <laughs> it's just... So aggressive. Oh, and this wearing is awful. Wow. I hate pointing it out. It's becoming a real issue. I'm not going to have that same debate again. I'm just going to say sorry. Just... Mm. There we are. I can use better words to substitute. For instance, trucker. See? That works. I like that. You're a trucker, Harry. <laughs> that does sound like some sort of funny trope. Not trope, but a meme. One of them sick memes, supposedly. I'm sort of quite lost in where I am. <laughs> So, we can have a log pile. Probably not going to put it right next to the trees, just because we don't want to hurt the trees' feelings. I mean, the tree probably is going to be looking at his dead friends. I mean, would you like to have a corpse next to your house? That's what I'm trying to say right there. Would you? Of course not. So, why would you allow the tree to watch such a despicable act in front of its very leaves? <laughs> in front of its very leaves. Exactly. So we put the logs here. I'm going to put these logs at the front because there's a nice way to take up some more space. Don't think I would live in this house. There's something about it I don't like. You know, I feel like I would be the old guy in this house and there'll be a bunch of kids that have parties every weekend and don't shut the hell up. Just, ugh. I'm already annoyed by it. Seriously, I may be of youth, I think. <laughs> but, but my mind is that of a 70-year-old man. Seriously. You damn kids! Anyway. Let's go over to our crates, since we have pretty much put down all of the... Oh, my... Yeah, my shoulder just started killing me out of nowhere. Oh, I'm becoming brittle, my youth! <laughs> it's because I said that! <laughs> now it's like, no, take it away! Right, anyway. So this house could probably do with a crate or two. Right here. In fact, just the one crate for this house. I feel like he would have just the one. This house is going to have a blocked off alleyway with a few crates. This one's going to have just a corner right here. A few more along there. I'm sort of just trying to put the crates around the house, so not too many in front. This is a good point. How many wells do I have? I don't think I have any wells. It's probably because the wells look a little bit out of place. There we go. So we have... Oh, no. I was looking at one. I, I, I recalled there being a well around here. That's why I came over. But I just forgot I even put it down. There's the wheat. Oh, no. We didn't have any wheat whatsoever. So there we are. Great culling. Our fault. Completely forgot that the animals required feeding. Forgot that we had animals, in fact. 
just not something we've needed. But now we now we know. And knowing is, of course, a part of the battle. I wouldn't say half. Some enemies over there. I just spotted them. With my elvish eye. Oh, that's nice sounding. I always forget about the sound effects in this game. It's been so long since I've heard the soundtrack in game. It's very nice. It's very nice. <laughs> anyway. It looks like... Oh, I thought there was a sheep then. <laughs> Uh, are there any more goblins around? I feel like there should be more. We've got you, but you're stuck on Gobbo Gobble Island. <laughs> Gobbo Island. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a pleasant place. Oh, that annoys me. They're all the same colour. So homogenous. <laughs> exactly. The, the crate diversity right now in great decline. Look at this, though. This is much better. <laughs> there we are. How are we looking over here? Can we put any crates around here? Oh, a well. I think a well around this spot Woo. would look quite nice. Just need to fi fi yeah, fix this, which is pretty much... We've missed a spot here and here. Okay. We're meant to connect up to the terrain or to the buildings with the paved stone grey. I mean, we're not on a floating island, so that last sentence I said just didn't make any sense. Like, we're meant to connect up to the terrain. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Go to terrain, grass. Right, they'll be mining these out so that we can turn them into paved stone grey. I imagine there are a few more of these sort of little errors here and there that we're going to try and complete. I imagine when we do our little walk around with Islay, we're going to run into a few issues. So let's see. Now we need to go back to objects. I think it's into core. There we go. Yeah, well right there would look fantastic. In fact, a few more places for wells. Oh, we don't have any more rope. Not that we really needed it, but now we do. So I guess we'll just make... Not 200, 20! <laughs> Need to remember that it starts off on a zero and doesn't get rid of it when you start typing. But there we are. So anything else for a well? No, everything else is easy to create. So there's a well right there. Let's see. This open area could just be turned into... Yeah, just a field. I can't see it being anything else, really. Goblin Raw has been spotted. You're watching a cold live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, don't shoot the sheep! You motherfucker! I mean, you mother trucker! Well, come on now! It was the only sheep! And it. <laughs> what a hero. That sheep was like, no! Trying to dive in front of the archer. Didn't realize who team he was on. There we go. What a tragedy. Tragedy. Anyway. Oh yeah, I was placing down wells. I'm trying to deal with my my current epidemic of coldness, which is currently taking over my voice. It's really horrid. <laughs> right. We still haven't fixed this bit, have we? It's been like this since I believe the Great Attack. This was before we had our walls set up, like way before, and we were still building the main castle. I, not the main castle, but. Beforehand, for those that can't remember, in the before time, we used to have this plot be our area we would mine in. No, not mine. It would be our production area, really. Our industrial sector, as it were. And we're just buy my everything will be in there. And this will be our protective egg, as it were. In fact, imagine how short the series would have been if I just made the castle. <laughs> it would have been much shorter. I was pretty much done. By the, before I even complete the castle, like, game end-wise. Kind of. I think. Anyway. <laughs> Where did the other well go? It's somewhere over here. Yeah, we go. It's a very quaint spot for a well. I do feel like we should have maybe two or three more. Something tells me there's another one around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So that's third. So there's two more left for us. Is there one over here? I don't know why there would be one in the graveyard. I don't feel like there's any good reason for one to be here. I'll tell you what. Don't get raunchy, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm taking my socks off. Oh, there we go. It is really hot today. I was going to swear then. <laughs> I, was, I was going to, but I stopped myself. It's working! Anyway. So, yes, we have a well here. One there and one which is quite close, but it's in such a quaint position I just can't say no. There is a goblin marauder. Currently mucking around between our uh, road, on our road, not between anything really. 
thankfully. Um, so yeah, where do we put this next well? Hmm. I really feel like there's a well over here. There it is. Right, so that's the fourth one. So, let's just have a little bit of a... I can't zoom out too far. One here, one here, one here, one here. So, sort of this line. I feel like... Oh no, there's the other one. <laughs> Thanks, game. You did it for me. Alright, well there we go. That, that was much easier than I was anticipating. And that was also much easier than I was anticipating. So let's go back to our storage. Some tree spots. We'll be able to put the trees in in a minute. Should put the trees in now. How many saplings do we have left? This is very important. Seedlings even. 21. We could put 21 trees down. So we should really put them in the spots that are going to really require trees. Like the, the naked bits. Like this one. A little bit here. This bot could definitely do like one more tree. So let's go to objects, decor, and tree. So there's a tree right here. Now this spot definitely requires some trees. It's a good number, but it does seem a bit orderly, doesn't it? Or maybe it should look orderly. I'm trying to select it. There we go. It's a very specific spot. Well, they're, they're, them two are fine. I'm okay with them. There we go. So a few trees, once they're all nice and grown, then we should be fine with them. This spot in the middle could definitely do with a tree or two, so we'll get rid of these. And put down three trees. I'm okay with three of them. So five, six, seven, eight. Still don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to keep it treeless for the time being. There are a few bits and bobs, like right here, that could just do with a single tree. Um, this position could also do with a single tree. Just sort of filling up little patches of grass. Could do with two trees here. Two trees there. Just trying to fill up the town. One right here. Right here, apparently, would look quite nice. One there. There's a few trees around here, but they're fine where they are. I reckon run one here would look good. I think it would collide a bit too much with the buildings. Got to be careful where you put them. There are just a few spaces where you just simply can't put a tree down. I think here could definitely have a tree. Oh yeah, this spot as well. Although that will most definitely collide with the building. But it just looks so empty without a tree. This is a really big one. Don't want to say tree again, even though I just did. I <laughs> just feel like I've said it a bit too much. Stone benches, of course. The next big thing. We don't really have any other park area. I mean, we've got this bit. There's one up here. You can barely see it. It's like a nice little zone. I really do like this. Like, I would chill out here all the time. It feels kind of cramped, though, when you're around here. But really, it's not. Although those lamps are a massive fire hazard. Look at those. They are just so close to the leaves. This one pretty much has the leaves become it. It has become part of the tree now. God, we missed out on another park, haven't we? I don't have the resources for it. We need more seedlings. We could cheat a merchant in and see if he can give us some money or some seedlings for some monies. We'll see. Anyway. We'll seedling. Oh, ho, ho. anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. Do we wish to cut down these trees? I don't think we will need to. I think we're pretty good on the old wood. Got quite a few logs. We can definitely make like a thousand more timber though, just to make sure. See, now it comes out as a hundred. I mean, it's because I my the line was there. So if I click, you know, go in every one. Well, no, it didn't count. It doesn't work there. Okay, I don't understand. Just the mumblings of a madman at the moment. I can barely understand what I'm saying. Okay, so crates around here. Yeah, I like the, the crates here. They're very nice. Yeah, very well placed. Very crate -y, as it were. Their crate. Which is another little slogan. Right there. You want some more? Then you're going to have to pay me. <laughs> Put a crate there.